Hello, Miles Maeda here with more Modern Yoga Movement videos for you. In this video, we will be learning a meditation that helps us to process physical, emotional, and mental material, especially deep tensions that can cause us stress and anxiety. In everyday life, the things that we take in, whether it be food, interactions with other people, things we see on TV and the internet, it can build up inside of us. And if we don't properly process this material, it can turn into imbalances, illness, even disease. This also relates to things that we have inherited, passed down from generation to generation, also known as family karma, which through practices like this, we are able to transform. This practice generates heat or an inner fire in the body, which metabolizes this material, turning our tensions into refined spiritual energy, which we then recirculate in and around the body. This can both heal and nourish us at the deepest levels. A lot of meditations are passive practices. This one is an active meditation. We're using the breath and the mind to keep us focused and engaged, and this effectively guides us to a state of openness, clarity, and relaxation. This kind of meditation is well-suited for those who may have a difficult time with a traditional sitting practice. This practice has three parts, the breath, our intention, and connection. We'll go over the last two parts and then we will go into the breathing practice itself. Our intention with this practice is a wish to grow. And that means looking at ourselves where we feel we could heal and grow and evolve and eventually in a spiritual path, realize our natural state. When we feel in our heart this wish to grow, it leads us to deeply surrendering. And this is looking at where we have attachments in our lives and feeling like we can release them. When we cling to things to help us feel happy and content, those are usually the obstacles in our ability to grow and evolve. So it's necessary to be able to recognize these attachments and then to be able to release them. With connection, we are looking at drawing energy that can support us in our growth and our evolution. And for some people, that is with your teacher. And with other people, it might be with a spiritual being who is no longer alive or a spiritual deity from a tradition that you're a part of. When we're practicing, you can use an image of your teacher or of a deity and feel that they are supporting you however you need it. You can ask for guidance and help with your practice. Now the breathing practice can be broken down into two main parts. The first part is preparing, which is generating the energy and the heat in the body. And the second part is a double breath where we hold the breath in two parts. And this helps us to release our tensions into spiritual energy. We want to first sit in a comfortable sitting posture. And I have a video specifically on this, which I will have a link for in the description below. The first part of the breathing practice, we are breathing in and out of the belly. So what we want to do is imagine that there is a fire in the belly. When we inhale, the navel pushes forward. And when we exhale, we're drawing the navel back. And the feeling is like we are stoking the fire and increasing the heat and the energy. So when we breathe, you can feel that energy or breath is directly coming into the belly. At the end of the inhale, there's just a brief pause, not holding the breath in any way, but just suspending the breath. And then we're exhaling and drawing the belly back, and again, feeling that we're stoking this fire. 
You do this for three or so minutes, and then you are ready to do the double breath. So now that we have all this energy that we've generated in the body, we want to take this energy and we want to hold it in the heart and hold it in the belly. So if you can imagine the burdens that we carry can be in the chest, so they can be at the heart and the lungs. And then we also carry deeper seated tensions in the belly. This also relates to the sex center and our root. This breath is starting to process or break up or transform these deep tensions into refined spiritual energy. What we do is we focus at the nostrils and we inhale. And instead of feeling the breath at the belly, we're now feeling the breath entering the nostrils and we feel the breath enter the chest, enter the heart area, and we hold. This is gentle. We don't want to hold with tension, but we want to feel space inside. We want to feel that we can begin to have openness and relaxation in the chest. And we're going to hold it for about the count of 10. So about 10 seconds. But if for any reason it's difficult to hold the breath that long, you can do it shorter and eventually work your way up to 10. After we've held the breath for about the count of 10, then we exhale about one fifth of the breath. Then we re inhale. So we're mixing new breath with the old breath. And then we let the breath descend into the belly. We want to, again, feel openness. We want to feel relaxation and space in the belly and hold the breath here for about the count of 10. So just be aware if you feel like you're holding the breath with tension and do your best to relax. We are allowing the processing of tensions in the belly. So a lot of emotional material can be stored here. We're also dealing with deeper, even ancestral material in our sex center and our root chakra. So really allow the breath to go as deep as it can. After we're done holding the breath here for about the count of 10, then we exhale this refined spiritual energy up the spine. It goes through the chakras. And then it ends up being like a fountain of energy and it falls back down upon us. And then we can feel that we're reabsorbing this energy and it becomes a powerful and vital energy that helps to heal and nourish us. One thing that can be helpful is to envision that there is a door at the base of the spine. And when we're done, Holding the breath in the belly, this door opens, and then we guide the breath, we guide this energy up the spine and out the crown of the head. While we are doing this, we are remembering our wish to grow. We are also looking at where we have attachments in our lives and feeling like we can let them go little by little. And then wherever we need guidance or support, then we are asking our teacher or our deity or our guides to help you where you are finding any difficulties. Okay, let's do the practice together. Let's focus at the belly. You can close your eyes if you like and breathe deeply in and out. So instead of feeling the breath coming in and out of the nostrils, let's imagine that the breath is directly being inhaled into the belly and out. So when we inhale, the navel presses forward. There's a little pause at the end without holding the breath with tension. And then exhale, drawing the navel back towards the spine. So the breath is long and deep, inhaling. And we just suspend the breath for a moment, feeling the belly expanding and then exhaling drawing the navel back. Feel the breath stoking this inner fire so it is nice and strong. This is the energy that helps to metabolize our physical, emotional, and mental material. 
And this is the energy that we're going to be using to hold in the heart and in the belly. So long, deep breaths. Feel relaxed. Feel the energy in the belly. And again, we do this for about three minutes. Then we begin the double breath. So after your exhale, we direct our attention to the nostrils and we inhale the breath high up the nostrils. Let the breath travel down the throat into the heart, into the chest, and we gently hold it here for about the count of 10. So feel the heart opening, feel the chest expanding. Let the body stay relaxed. Then we exhale one fifth of the breath. Let's re-inhale. So now new breath is mixing with the old breath. And when we hold, we let the breath drop down to the belly and we feel the belly relax and expand. You can feel the energy descending even to the second and the first chakra. And after the count of 10, we exhale that energy up the spine. The breath goes up out the crown of the head, and then we feel it like a fountain of energy that pours back down on the body. And then we return to our belly breathing. And as we are doing the belly breathing, we feel that this energy is being absorbed into the body, and we feel that it is healing and nourishing us at the deepest levels. And when that feels complete, you can refocus your attention to the belly breathing and stoking the inner fire. Here is a good time to remember your wish to grow. How can we heal? How can we evolve? What are our spiritual goals? Who is the person we would like to be? And then we can also look at what are the obstacles that stand in our way? A lot of times these obstacles are deep seated fears that we may or may not know about. So when we do the double breath, we can feel when we hold the breath, it starts to break apart these fears break apart these tensions and it turns something that might feel like a rock into something that feels much more like healing, nourishing energy. So let's do a few more of the belly breaths. Again, pressing the navel forward, suspending the breath for a moment and then drawing the navel back towards the spine. See if you can get all the air out and really take nice, full, deep inhalations. And then we focus on the nostrils, getting ready for the double breath. So take a deep inhale here. Swallow if you need to, to get the breath into the heart and the chest. Hold here in a relaxed way, feeling the heart and the chest opening feeling the breath expanding, going into all the nooks and crannies. And then we exhale about one fifth of the breath. And then we re-inhale. We take this breath and we let it drop down into the belly, relaxing, letting the breath expand. You can feel like you have a nice Buddha belly here, letting the energy, letting the heat go to the places in the body where we might have these hidden fears or deep-seated tensions. And after the count of 10, guide the energy into the spine and exhale it all the way up and out the top of the head. And then as we begin the belly breathing, we feel this refined spiritual energy being reabsorbed into the body 
So we're not losing any energy. The energy is actually lost in a way when it's stored as tension because we don't have access to it. But as we do this practice, we free up that energy so it can be recirculated throughout the body. It's like a battery. If we have a rechargeable battery and the battery gets old, the ability for that battery to fully recharge is greatly decreased. So tension in us is like having a rechargeable battery that can't really charge all the way. So what we're doing is we are increasing the capacity so that we can recharge 100%. Okay, let's do this together one more time. Again, focusing at the belly, long deep breaths, stoking the fire. And if you feel that you are struggling in any way or you would like some guidance or some support in your practice or if you would like some help along your path, then you can ask your teacher a deity you work with, or you can even ask the universe. The universe is outer, but there's also the universe that is the inner, the macrocosm and the microcosm. Ultimately, they are the same thing. So you can ask the universe for guidance, and you can draw this energy into yourself and feel that you have more support in transforming your obstacles or understanding whatever the question is that you may have or seeing more clearly the path you are to be on. So feel the breath flowing in and out of the belly. Feel the energy from the fire in the belly. With practice, you will be able to feel this energy more and more. Be sure to keep yourself relaxed as you practice. You don't want to have too much intensity. As we are breathing and as we are holding the breath, we want it to be balanced. We do want there to be the strength of the heat of the fire, but we also want to feel some openness, some surrender some relaxation. So after about three minutes, we do the double breath, inhaling high up in the nostrils, swallowing if need be, and gently holding the breath in the chest for about the count of 10. Be sure that your body is relaxed And then we exhale about one fifth of the breath. Re inhale. And hold the breath in the belly. If you feel like there is stuck energy in the spine, especially in the base of the spine, you can rock side to side, shaking loose this energy at the base of the spine. Feel the breath continuing to deepen and expand. And again, after about the count of 10, direct the energy, the breath up the spine, out the crown of the head, exhaling completely, and then relax. Breathing and reabsorbing this refined spiritual energy, letting it go where it's needed. This is a practice that is typically done for 30 minutes in the morning. If you'd like to do it twice a day, then you can also include a 30 minute practice in the evening. This is a practice that can have a lot of peaks and valleys. The key to success is to continue practicing, enjoy the process, and you will feel more space, more vitality, and more light in your being. Thank you for joining me for this practice, and we will see you in the next video.